Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about sodium salt. Now, we all need salt in our diet to a point. You're supposed to have about 1,500 milligrams a day, which is about three quarters of a teaspoon. But salt doesn't come just in a container like this. It's not just the added salt you're putting on your foods. Salt's in so many different foods you eat all the time that most of us get three to four times the sodium. And that can lead to high blood pressure, stroke, and heart disease. So not a good thing. So here's a little bit of information on where salt is hidden. And believe it or not, what you put on at home almost doesn't count. It's really the packaged foods. So first, let's look at a misconception. A bowl of potato chips, about 27 potato chips. We're all told, oh, be careful because of the salt. This is, I think, Miss Vicky's. It comes in at about 120 milligrams of sodium. Not a lot, not that chips are a nutritious snack, but in terms of sodium, not bad. Let's take a look now at some of the other foods that are shocking. So a bagel. This one little bagel weighing maybe about three to four ounces has 700 milligrams of sodium. That's half your intake for the day. And a slice of bread also has about 240 milligrams of sodium and tortillas even more than that. In terms of looking at um, Kraft Dinner, good old KD, three quarters of a cup cooked. Now who has ever just stopped at three quarters of a cup, forget it, is 600 milligrams. So again, we're feeding our children uh, this sometimes, you know, a few times a week, not a healthy thing for them in terms of sodium. And they start getting taste buds for salt. I know that sometimes my grandkids will say, oh, uh, you know, add some salt to it. They haven't even tasted it yet. So be careful of that. Now, foods like shake and bake, you're always better off with just plain or unseasoned panko or breadcrumbs. Three tablespoons of this is eight hundred calories and you sure use a lot more than three tablespoons when you're coating your chicken or your vegetables. Now some of these tomato juice drinks are so healthy. I mean lots of vitamins, nutrients, low in calorie, but the sodium is really high. There are low sodium alternatives now, but this has got for about one cup 420 milligrams of sodium. So again healthy but not so much in terms of the salt. Regular beans come today canned uh, with no sodium, or if you rinse them, you can get rid of one third of the sodium. But baked beans, a half a cup, and nobody has just half a cup, is 520 milligrams of sodium. It's really a lot. And if you really don't like cooking plain pasta for your kids and adding in you know, a little bit of Parmesan cheese or butter or a little bit of pesto, these canned zoodles, are 1500 milligrams and it's pretty easy to eat one of these cans at one sitting. You know, you can get the condensed soup like Campbell's or you can get the Mr. Noodle. Both of these are pretty guilty of having lots and lots of sodium. We have about 900 milligrams and if you have this entire Mr. Noodle, that's another 1400 milligrams of sodium. So again, really, really, really high. These seasoning mixes, you know, anything from the taco seasoning, and I love using them because they're so easy, but this seasoning alone has about 1,500 uh, milligrams if you use the entire package. Anything that's smoked or cured, like ham, prosciutto, um, are always gonna be filled with lots and lots of sodium. And two of these hot dogs, because these are pretty small, two of these hot dogs end up coming in at about 700 milligrams of sodium. Now, what about canned veggies? You know, if you're gonna have veggies, either have fresh or frozen, because there's very little sodium. You need the sodium in the can to preserve it. So the uh, canned veggies alone, one cup here has about 580 milligrams. Again, if you can only have 1500 milligrams in a day, you're having a third of your sodium there. You can buy plain table salt, which contains iodine, but most of us don't need excess iodine. Or you can buy sea salt or the pink salt or the kosher salt. You're better off using these alternative salts. They're almost half the milligrams of sodium than just regular table salt. So there's a lot more foods I could go through, but keep a tab on the sodium that you're ingesting and don't be shocked by foods like this.